click on the subscriber button so that you will be subscribed to my channel and also click on the bell button so that you won't miss any of my future video hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today in this video I'm going to show you how to make a interfacing neckline uh, so using this interfacing canvas you're going to learn a different kinds of neckline in a very simple and easy way so let's get started so take your interfacing canvas and you're going to fold the canvas in half so this interfacing canvas has a glue on one side and it's going to be plain on another side so this is going to be a combination of fabric and the paper okay so this is also called as a neckline canvas okay so now take your interfacing canvas like this and first you're going to decide what neckline you're going to make in this canvas. Take your measuring tape and first you're going to decide the width of the neckline. So the width of the neckline is mine is going to be 2 inches and from that you decide the depth of the neckline. So I'm going to take a depth of the neckline to be 5 inches from the top. Okay. So now you're going to draw a straight line from year to year and you're going to draw another line connecting to the top from the top okay so if you want to make a u neckline or a scoop neckline just draw a line here and you're going to just join this so next you're going to decide the width of the neckline so i'm just going to have a width of the neckline to be one inch all around just place the tape and you're going to mark the one inch of elements okay so just like that mark the one inch make sure you just mark the exact one inch so if you make any difference over here it sure it definitely going to show in the neckline like this okay It should go like this. If you're satisfied with the U, you're going to cut this out. First, let me cut. So now you can see I've got a very beautiful U. So uh, the next step is I'm going to press this U on top of this fabric. You can use any fabric as you like. So I'm going to use this cotton fabric to go with this. So now take the pre side of the fabric and take your glued side of the neckline. So this is going to be the glue side and I'm going to lay the glue side facing the pre side of the fabric like this leaving some marginal amount of fabric all around. Once you placed your canvas like this just place a piece of cotton fabric on top of this and you're going to iron that together. Just take a second and press that firm. Okay. So now I'm going to take the fabric out and you can see how firm it is. So that's it, you can't take this fabric out. So now we are going to cut the excess fabric. So now I'm going to add some notches to this so that the neckline is going to have a nice and neat turn. Okay. Okay. So the next step is I'm going to sew this 
just by folding this in the canvas okay and let me show you the stretching of this I'm going to sew the outer edge of the canvas just by folding that and putting a basting stretch So just fold that in half and center notch the neckline and fold this in half, center notch fabric and now just lay this on top like this and pin that in place. So to the inner edge of the neckline. So now cut the inner fabric okay. and just mark some notches side and just turn the entire fabric in like this So now I'm going to sew to the outer edge of the neckline. next neckline is going to be a square neckline so same like that you're going to mark the width of the neckline so the width of the neckline is going to be two inches so it's always depends upon you so how much the width you want you can mark so after marking the width of the neckline you're going to mark the length of the neckline from the starting point of the shoulder you're going to mark the the height of the neckline so now i'm going to take five inches over here i'm going to draw a straight line from year to year okay and from here okay so now you're going to decide the width of the neckline as much you want so uh, if you want two inches if you want three inches also you can keep so now i'm going to take for one inch of width of the neckline so i'm just marking the one inch 
like this. Okay, so now I'm going to mark the down part. Okay, like this. And take your scale, take your scale, and I'm going to draw a straight line. And draw a straight line. So, uh, okay. so now I'm going to cut this out. Okay, now cut the inner part. Take your fabric which you are going to make the neckline and place the glued side of the interfacing like this. Okay, once you are secured and you are going to just place a, another cotton fabric on top of this and I am going to iron this out. Okay, so just press that firm. Do not move the iron box too much, just like that you are going to give a nice tight press okay just open this so just leaving a marginal amount of fabric I'm going to cut this out now you've got a beautiful square neckline so let me show you the stretching of this so for the square neckline same like that I'm going to fold fold the outer edge of this okay for this you're going to use a basting strip okay. for the square neckline you're going to sew on the body side first and then you're going to sew the down part so the last one is going to be the down part so now take your fabric so make sure you match both the notches like this and pin that in place so when you come to the meeting point of both you're going to put the needle in turn the fabric alone and you're going to sew that again okay so when you come to the meeting point over here just put the needle turn the fabric and you're going to sew that again okay. so now cut the inner fabric just leaving a margin amount of fabric out okay. So when you're making a square, you're going to give a notch over the pointy edge of the square. That's it. So you don't want to put the notches all around. Okay. So now I'm going to tuck this in. Okay. So this is going to be the wrong side of the fabric. Take the pre side of the fabric just by flipping that in. And you're going to bring this out like this. So if you want the entire green piece like this without showing the black color or if you want uh, you can just uh, leave a marginal amount of fabric just by making like a piping. Once it is done by sewing I'm just going to take all the basting stretch out. Okay.
Once after sewing the inner corner, you're going to sew the outer edge. Just turn the fabric out and you're going to sew that again. Put the needle in, turn the fabric. So once it's done, I'm going to remove all the basting stitch. Take your neckline canvas like this and first mark your width of the neckline as we did for the previous neckline. Okay and the length of the neckline so this time I'm going to keep the length is going to be 5.5 inches and give a mark so just draw a straight line okay. from here to here and then you're going to draw a nice and neat U in this Mark a quarter range all around. And I'm going to join this out okay take a cap like this and I'm going to draw a circle so make sure that uh, you just join the circle on the quarter inch elements over here and first I'm going to mark at the circle point so from here I'm going to just draw a circle okay this line I'm going to mark my next circle just place the cap like this matching these line the cap a little bit like this make sure that both the lines matches the circle end point and you're going to draw another circle a half a circle So if you want you can continue that or else take your half of the circle and place it like this okay and draw another one like this and from here you're going to just curve that in okay so that's going to give a nice and neat shape so let me cut this out so now just I'm cutting on the exact marked curve point okay so make sure you take your time cut exactly on the shape of the curve so I'm just going to the down part So now we got this beautiful shape. So next step is I'm going to cut the inner neckline. Okay, just cut in a nice and neat shape like this. Okay, so when I open, you can see how beautiful it is. So now check the wrong side of the fabric and take your interfacing neckline and make sure that the glue side facing to the wrong side of the fabric like this take a cotton fabric and lay on top and give a nice and neat press so 
just remove the fabric and now I'm going to cut this out so you're going to go according to the shape just leaving a quarter inch of elements okay next step is I show you how to attach this to the fabric Now take your fabric and take the center point of the fabric so this is going to be my center point and fold the neckline piece mark the center point of the neckline it's going to be the wrong side of the kameez facing up and this is going to be the wrong side of the neckline facing up so you're going to match both the center points like this and you're going to pin that in place just pin that over here so now you're going to sew the inner edge of the neckline that is this one So now I have uh, stretched the inner edge of the canvas. I've cut the fabric inside this. So just leaving a margin amount of fabric, you're going to cut this out. Okay, and you're going to put some notches so now I'm going to turn this out just turn the fabric to the pre side and you're going to fold the entire neckline inside okay like this feel like you want to leave a piping like illusion you can add a little bit of black color fabric at the end so that it just makes a good illusion of black color piping has been added to this neckline But now I'm going to sew the outer edge and after sewing that I'm going to remove the basting stitch what we done before Once it's done, you're going to remove all the basting stitch what you have given before so that it just gives a nice and beautiful look. 